Look at that. That's that was like that's what you get right there. You get a place. Well, I didn't notice he tamed it. I guess when he picked it up, he got it. And there you go. You have your tame piranha right there. And you're in a little piranha school. School of piranha fish. Yo, what's going on guys? Riot here bringing you guys more awesome arc aberration stuff. Now today I don't even have face cam because this is pretty much recorded off Twitch. Give for people at uh, TwitchCon who are able to play Aberration right now, the demo, and just get to see stuff that we don't get to see. But many people, many of my subscribers, and everyone's at school or work and stuff like that. So I'm recording it so we can all just make sure we're on the same page with this extremely epic stuff. Now, the streamer who I'm watching right now, his link is in the description below. But I highly suggest you guys all go follow him because he's awesome and really good at just generally every game. Plus, he brought us this footage. I did put the Arc Aberration logo over his face though because personally I would hate for my face to be on someone else's video. And I'm leaving out face cam today because I'd hate for someone else's face to be on my video. So this is the most democratic, legit way to get this done. So yes, right now we're looking at some awesome stuff such as the Queen Xeno and, and honestly one of the coolest mechanics in the game I've ever seen. The ability to catch fish, tame them, and then bring them back to your base and make your own legit little piranha pools and stuff like that where you could actually drop players in your little piranha pool. It's astounding. Absolutely the craziest stuff. So as you see right here, He's equipping the hazmat suit. Man, it's just, oh my god, it's, it's later on in the video. It'll be towards the end. But yeah, make sure to leave a like if you guys want more aberration stuff brought to you constantly. Because I'm down. Because honestly, this is the most exciting thing going on in my life right now by far. And that's saying something with freaking Thor Ragnarok, Justice League, and Punisher coming out in like a little bit. Now I'm distracted. <laughs> Alright, look at this. Queen Zeno in the base! Oh my god! <laughs> Also, sorry for the lack of game audio, there just isn't any, but look at that Queen Zeno in the freaking base. Now, in this, in this right here, the Queen Zeno's in one of the easy uh, biomes. That's not how it's going to be. One of the admins spawned it in, so it's like just constantly attacking the players. But you will not be seeing the Queen Zeno in the easy base. Also, she does not, she will not stop chasing you or hunting and fighting constantly. It's her entire sole purpose. Look at that. She broke all the chests and everything. That's that's horrible. Okay, so here we have a Queen Zeno inside a base eating everyone's dinosaurs right now. That's what you're witnessing there. <laughs> that beautiful scaled tail over the distance. That is her eating everything. Oh my god. I wish there was game audio for this so bad. I wish I could hear the Queen Zeno wrecking face. I'll bet it's so splendiferous. Oh my god. Right now he's trying to get all the dinos come together too. I don't I'm not sure I don't think he's primarily an arc streamer because or maybe just more role-playing stuff. Actually the attack all wasn't even there though, the option. Look at this! No, he's definitely a pretty pro. I'd be a pretty good pro. I don't know why I said that. But here you have an entire base just attacking the Queen Zeno. That is ridiculous. So many dead feather lights, Jesus Christ. God, I wish I was hearing the noises this queen was making right now. Oh, all those little feather lights are just uh, a couple of the little light pets, you know what I mean? That constantly produce light and keep you from getting attacked. Look at that beast! Holy shit! That thing's way more beast than the actual Queen Zeno, like in, in the actual alien movies. <laughs> I, I, I gotta say, that thing's a little crazier. And that thing actually has the ability to knock people up with chest bursters, right? Where it, literally there's an animation where it busts out of the chest. Oh my god. See, a, a normal Xeno has to go through a whole process before you have a face hugger. I mean, a normal queen before you have a face hugger on your face and a chest burster in your chest. Well, this one doesn't have face huggers though; it's just chest bursters. But still, you can't you can't take everything from Alien. Look at this dude; it's already killed all of his other dinosaurs. Now, it's, well, I, most of them got stuck back there, but that was just up to these three Spinos against the Queen Xeno. This creature—it's just too beast. Damn it, I wish I could hear it right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I keep freaking out. <laughs> it's got one of them down. I kind of just left it one downstairs at 8 while recording all this so I could come back and it's news to me. <laughs> it's, as you can see, the Queen Xeno, look at those uh, green uh, poison spikes she's shooting off her tail as well. So it's like, there's multi, you could attack everything at once, basically. Look at that tail, that is gracious. That is one sexy tail. See this right here when she's pinned. That's that's but look at that face. Look at that fish monster. God, I can't wait to be able to play this. I can't wait till we can uh, modify this creature as well. You know what I'm saying? All right, cool. Rock Drake coming in is back up. I think the human just died. Yep. <laughs> look, she has the ability to go underground as well. Well, obviously, because in the original trailer, she comes out from up the up above the ground or underground. 
And there you go, you have a queen, or a reaper queen. Why am I calling it a queen Zeno? Because it was originally called a Zeno, that's why. It's, and then I forgot they changed it to reaper, and that's that's primarily what the rock drake eats right there. It's a beautiful thing. But yeah, it was originally called the Zeno, and I kind of love that. I love that it was called that, so it's going to be very hard for me to get that name out of my head, because I love aliens so freaking much. Look at this place, it's cleaned out. There were so many more creatures here like 10 minutes ago. All that's left is the creatures that couldn't make it over the wall. This guy was smart to get his rock drake out of there. There's a few creatures I saw at this base that I didn't actually see before in the original when they were showing it off, um... When they were originally showing it off at TwitchCon, but I... Th I think they might be dead though, unfortunately. <laughs> this poor chick doesn't even have any pants on. I mean, anything that her, um... Anything that her body can... Can withstand her legs, it's just gonna go right up her hoo-ha, you know what I'm saying? It's a quick access to her organs right there. It's kind of kind of nerve-wracking. I think the music I'm gonna put over this is Jurassic Park theme, slowed down like a million. Oh, look at them all. <gasps> That's adorable. I can't wait to have my own little bubs every day I get home and ten bold dogs meeting me. I think um, what someone was saying in the chat while this is going on, I think what you gotta do is you use your uh, bold dog charge to weaken it. I think. Let me know down below if you guys have any information on that, but I'm 99% sure you use your charge to weaken the Queen Zeno. It's not called, it's, it's called a Reaper now, Johnny. You gotta get with the times, bud. The space is so cleaned out that Queen Zeno just vaporized everything. Look at that. There were so many dinos here before. Oh my god, dude. Quit calling it a Queen Zeno! You know what, just for this video, let me do it. I love the name so much. I love that it was originally called that, and that it actually does slightly resemble Xenomorphs, and that it can impregnate your chest with things that burst out. I think shortly we're about to be getting into the whole fishing aspect, which... The fish, the fishing aspect is honestly one of the craziest things about Aberration. I've, I've even, like, I didn't even know it was a thing, really. I heard that people were talking about it, but I didn't know it was an Aberration release thing. I thought it was like, um... I don't know, I thought I just I just didn't think it through. I didn't think it'd be like an immediate priority in aberration, the ability to like tame piranhas and like carry them back in your little fishing basket, put them in a little pool of water back at your base and make your own little piranha pools, coals, any sort of fish. Any fish that could not be tamed before can be tamed now with this fishing basket. By the way, let me know what you guys think. I'm honest I'm honestly curious about the general consensus of opinions about no flyers in aberration. There's obviously the rock trait glider, and then the actual glider you put on your own back. But there's no flyers in all of Aberration. Let me know what you guys think about that. Honest, I I kind of like it. I kind of prefer it. I feel like it's, you know, we're underground. It's got to be more. Plus, you can just fly right. Uh, you'd, you'd have complete run of the map like crazy. And you'd have really no need to climb on the walls or anything, which is a major aspect. Look, he's going to put down a fishy. His shit's about to get real. Although, I don't think they figured out for a bit. Which I don't blame them at all, seeing as how they're the first people ever to mess around with this stuff other than game devs. And I'm assuming game dev's girlfriends, because what's the point of dating a game dev if you can't play shit before it's released, am I right? One thing, though, I'm thinking would be amazing if since this DLC is more focused on underground, no flying, stuff like that. If they could just eventually make a DLC in the future that's some kind of Sky Mountains, some Sky City, some sort of Aether Cloud type place where everything flies. That would be, oh, that would be so awesome, too. Even the little rabbits have wings and stuff like that, so that would be a... Uh, how you Americans say, jizz in my pants. By the way, a weird time to self-promote myself like some kind of whore, but I will be streaming tonight most likely on Twitch. Uh, well, definitely on Twitch. Streaming most likely. It's still in the air if I'm going to stream Fortnite or uh, Ark, but I think I'm going to start a, just a temporary Ark survival series on Pooping Evolved, because first off, their server is so much freaking fun. I was playing on it last night. And second, it's been a while since I've done an Ark Survival Evolved series, and I want to be fresh on my toes. Even though every item and aspect of the game is going to be kind of polar opposite in aberration. Gotta be on my toes, man. Gotta be on my toes. Look at this creature! God, this would be so much fun to play in this right here. I'm so mad. That's why I'm getting on Twitch more. I'm gonna become a part-time Twitch streamer so I could go to TwitchCon. And when I go to TwitchCon, I'll get like supreme access to awesome stuff like this. Like this awesome gentleman here with this amazing little firebird on his shoulder. Because there are multiple light-up mounts, I believe there are not mounts, uh, creatures, that there's four different ones that keep you lit up. Because in the darkness, the evil comes out. But look at this, they just have all the items laid, this would be so much fun right here. Perhaps if I get some terminal disease, uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation could hook it up. But, but, but then I have to get a terminal disease! 
Also, yeah, this he just mentioned it, and I want to verify that you guys know everyone watching this video too. This upcoming Friday, or this Friday, not, not the one we're obviously next Friday, is going to be the Twitch wrap up, uh, wrap up of this whole thing. So make sure to tune in there to watch these awesome gentlemen do even more awesome shiz. I'm so excited. Look right here. He's dying the glow sticks. You could actually dye the glow sticks, and then they change color. And then you have that color glow stick. That right there is the coolest shiz ever, dude. That, oh my god. It's the little things. Look at that rock drake staring at his face in the top right corner. You think I don't have my face there right now? This is crazy. I'm, what, I'm like, I, like, I just can honestly imagine all the kind of roleplay raves they're going to have at Ark now, where everyone has different kind of glow sticks and shit. It's, it's just going to be too much fun. I, I'm way too childish over this whole thing, and I love it. Look at this thing right here. I can't tell what... If there's a little bit of lag or not, there might not be. My computer's being weird. It might be on my side and not the video side. You guys might not see it. But either way, look at this sleeping pod right here. That is the tech sleeping pod. That is, that is the shit right there. That's the coolest thing ever. Oh, wait. No, it was definitely the stream. Yo, that's... That sleeping pod. That is the coolest thing ever. That is straight out of every space movie ever. No wonder they're talking about doing a Starship Troopers roleplay series, which I would literally kill my firstborn son to be a part of, but obviously I'm not a big Twitch streamer yet. Gotta get on that, man. I spent too much time on YouTube. Alright, so now we're just looking at some awesome stuff around the base before they go fishing. Look at all those items. I advanced them. So this is their little pool, is that it? Is that to the right? Not gonna show me what's in there? That's nah, cool, I don't wanna see it anyways. <laughs> Alright, this whole video, I've been, I've been dying for some game audio. I'm sorry, guys. It's just not, it's just, it's just, we just have to enjoy it mute right now. It's just the life we're living. Alright, so this is it. You place the fishing basket down. Fishing basket hath been placed. Hostile Piranha Erwer. Also, sorry, it's not like the most perfectly pixelated thing ever again. It is a stream. It's a recording of a stream, in fact. Alright, so basically what happens is the fish that's closest in the radius to the basket is the first one that gets picked up. That's how that works right there. Which is, you know, it's how first come, first serve. That's how it should be. I'm so excited for this. Who else is excited for this right here? Let me know down below. I'm gonna make I'm such a baller piranha tank. I'm gonna have I'm gonna invite people over, and then when they give me bad news, I'm going to drop them in the tank. Come on, get in there, little buddy. They keep breaking it. Dirty bastards. Piranha are fierce. What's the backup plan here? Yeah, you gotta watch out for that for sure. Piranha, Piranha's gonna eat your traps. I mean, we are trying to catch fish in an era of prehistoric man-eating gobblers. You know what I mean? Sea monsters, technically, if you're a child. Look at that. That's that was like that's what you get right there. You get a place. Well, I didn't notice he tamed it. I guess when he picked it up, he got it. And there you go. You have your tame piranha right there. And you're in a little piranha school. School of piranha fish. Coolest stuff ever, oh my god. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here though because this is the end of everything they did right here and it was super freaking awesome. So yeah, make sure to follow the gentleman who made this entire video on Twitch and it's in the, like literally, it's in the comment and a little bit of a description below. Thadrius is literally responsible for everything here and the dude is awesome as hell. So yeah, if you wanna see more kind of videos like this and keep up with Aberration News, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful people next time. Peace. It's time to get in here.